I thought I should really start when they left Denmark because there'd been wars in, uh, in Denmark and in neighbouring countries. But when they came back from the war, there, was, there wasn't enough employment for everyone, enough opportunities. So these men decided, the three of them, that they would migrate to Australia because they had heard about the gold rushes and that there was wealth to be made. And then they decided that they would build a hotel and they built the Criterion Hotel. By the end of 1854, they had three hotels. People are really going to be quite surprised because they really um, may not know terribly much about their cons, um, given that their business, I guess, sort of disappeared from the public back in the 1970s. There's going to, it's going to come to a point where there's going to be generations that weren't aware of how prominent they were and exactly how important they were, not only to the locals, but also to Australia. Australia is a growing nation. They had a sense of adventure and a sense of purpose, and they actually walked from Melbourne. In 1857, they established a proper company with their partnership, and they built the brewery. When he finished his schooling, my grandfather was only 16, but he was sent to Europe to be educated in brewing, and he went to the Worms Brewing School, which is part of the Worms University on the Neckar River in Germany. What he learnt was lager, and it must be served cold. But when he got back, they built the iceworks, which is the building is still there in uh, Water Street in Bendigo. They grew into a business that owned hotels all over the place. They, um, they were the primary beer brewers for town. They were the first ones to bring lager to Australia. So if it wasn't for them, we probably wouldn't have chilled beer, which is very important. <laughs> Jacob had the policy that you would buy hotels or finance people to buy hotels or you, other, in other ways tie them up financially so that but preferably to own the hotel because a, a, they became a tied house where you could only buy their beer, their tomato sauce, their lemonade. Uh, my father during the war he used to try and enlist and they'd send him home again and he, they asked him to extend his uh, use of the cannery and to do food that could be for army use. And he did tomatoes. He'd go and round them all up and flood them out of the jail in the morning on Monday morning and take them out and they'd pick tomatoes for week. And then my father would have a lot of workers there putting them in cans. The bottles for nearly all the big firms were made by a cooperative glass factory in Melbourne. They had a good eye for uh, design. At a certain stage, they used to always have white delivery horses, white trucks. Everyone in the factory wore white overalls. Jacob lived into his 80s, so he had a big influence. He was the mayor, the councillor, and he was the mayor of Bendigo. Moritz was the, the councillor and the mayor of uh, Elmhurst. Moritz and Jacob were founders of the Bendigo, what is now the Bendigo Bank. Uh, well, this was done, uh, I think, in 19, well, fairly late in terms of Con Brothers uh, history, but in the 1960s, and a sign writer did this terrific sign, and uh, because of demolition uh, occurring on that site, the whole thing was uncovered in all its glory, so that's really great. Do that job that's on the wall there. I was given a label of the lemonade bottle, which, of course, was only very small, and it was my job then to reproduce it in the well, the very large size that it is on the wall. We found since the sign was uh, uncovered, there's been a lot of interest in it. Uh, I've received lots of photos that different ones have taken. I didn't realise that when I naturally painted the thing, that it'd be coming back like over 50 years later. It's the collection of stories that uh, is important. Uh, without them, you have no soul. I mean, without your history, you've got photos on it, and you've got nothing. It sort of draws the focus away from the metropolitan areas a little bit, and I think that's a great thing. Um, it really shows that Bendigo isn't just known for gold, which is obviously a really important part of our history, but um, we're a lot deeper than that and we contributed so much more to Australia.